we, we some of us realized that Bitcoin was never going to be the privacy coin that they're still selling to you that BTC is. So these people that were honest created protocols like Monero and Pirate Chain for you to be able to actually have autonomy in the way that you use your cryptocurrency. So we are at the beginning stages of something very new, something that was it's, it's in a sense, like, like they said, Bitcoin is like a hydra. Crypto is a hydra. They try to cut a head off and dupe us or whatever, like they did with BTC. But guess what? 10 other heads are going to grow stronger. And that's what's happening right now. That real cryptocurrency is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And we have Monero, Wownero, Dero, and Pirate Chain leading the charge in the real cryptocurrency space. And if you look at the market cap of these coins, you will see that we are, you you are just, this is a blessing to you watching this. You're right that there. these networks are just babies still that are solid, built on the shoulders of giants on the experiences that we've have had with Bitcoin and with all of the early protocols. And now these are being built from the ground up correctly so it's it's this is, a, this is a great time for everybody to to get involved in crypto because this is not just a space to do nothing with like they try to sell you this is a space for you to actually have utility in ways you've never experienced before um i'm really excited about darrow d-e-r-o have you heard of darrow i haven't but now i'm gonna go look at it up Okay, so Darrow is the privacy. It's it's a can, it's what it's what Ethereum always promised to be, but they never had privacy by default. So yeah, Darrow is 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 uh they just launched their mainnet like a couple uh like a week or so ago, no more than three weeks ago. Um, they're the privacy smart contract platform that we champion. That we we've, we've scoured the space and these guys got it. Um. They yeah, so we're really for the first time in crypto are going to be able to experience true decentralized autonomous organizations. Not what they sold you in, in, in Ethereum, because they those DAOs can't be autonomous because they're not resistant to censorship. And we're going to be able to experience real DeFi because all this DeFi BS that we've heard throughout the past two, three, four years has been nothing more than CeFi disguised as DeFi on transparent blockchains that are open to financial voyeurism and surveillance. So they literally gave people a honeypot to play within. And now we know that Ethereum is in bed with the World Demonic Forum. And we saw this shit coming a long time ago. We knew that this shit was nothing to play with. People kept asking us, why don't you play with Ethereum? What about Ethereum? Yeah, there's a lot of great people in Ethereum building great products on Ethereum. The problem with them is that they're building in the on the wrong foundation. If they want to build something that is transparent and open to surveillance, in other words, open to the dispute resolution of government law, do it right. Do it correctly. And don't lie to people and tell them that you're building on something that is solid for their desires of escaping tyranny when it is not. And so now we have, uh, finally, we have Darrow, Pirate Chain, and Monero leading the charge in the privacy coin, in, in the real cryptocurrency space. And you guys listening to this, I'm telling you, we're at the beginning of this. Crypto's just getting started. And so don't, Think of crypto as just a space. I just went on this rant based on what you said, Susan, of just holding these coins and doing nothing with them. If you're not creating with them, if you're not actually using these protocols in your life, then preach, preach, then you're not doing anything. You have to really take them onto yourself to find a, a deficit and an excess in the economy around you and arbitrage with crypto. Because crypto allows you to do things that you can't do in any other way. So become that market maker in the spaces of the economy that you know best. Because this is it, guys. If you don't step up and become a crypto entrepreneur, 
you're going to miss out on a great opportunity. Someone else is going to figure it out before you do. And you're not contributing to the space in the way that you could. So get off the bench, get, you know, let go of those lies of HODL. HODL is just, it's just, it's just, is a stupid mentality that the people, the person, my one of my best buddies, Daniel Krawitz, the emperor of Bitcoin himself, wrote an article in the Satoshi Nakamoto Institute titled, I, you, uh, I'm hoarding my Bitcoins and no, you can't have any. They used his arguments in a half-assed way. And this was Silicon Valley and big tech. They used my friend's arguments in a half-assed way to attack Bitcoin. And when you ask Daniel Krawitz what hyper-Bitcoinization is about, because he is the one that dubbed the term hyper-Bitcoinization, he literally was talking about creating an on-chain economy that is exclusive, separate from the legacy slave system. And a lot of idiots fell for the trap of only listening to what he wrote and reading half as what he wrote. And they just followed the narrative of these lizards that came in to rob you of the opportunity to really change the world with crypto. Because the, if you only think of HODL and you're only thinking of what my price is at the market at the certain time, I, you know, in coin market cap or coin gecko, you're still being the bitch of the establishment. Because you're still depending on how the legacy financial slave system views crypto. No, 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 no. Crypto is for us to say, fuck you to the legacy financial system of lizards so that we can create our own economy. This is P to P currency. It's not P to lizard to P currency. So if you're still caught up on what the price of the coin is, and you're constantly checking coin gecko you're fucking up because yeah of course that's exciting to see but there's more to this guys you have to realize that these technologies are world changing and they're only world changing if you actually use them it is in their utility that we find their value if you don't have utility you don't have shit so they lied to you, gave you a crippled version of Bitcoin and BTC. And to me, Bitcoin is the protocol in its original form from Satoshi, not the stupid ticker symbol that comes from the exchanges owned by the lizards. OK, it comes from the actual use case of these technologies. So fucking use them. All right, I'm done talking. I'm done. <laughs>